everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification bell. We have a mail haul from Amazon, but it is a book haul. So if you want to see what everything I got, then keep on watching. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification bell. Welcome back to my penguin family. If you are new here, welcome to my penguin family where we do book hauls and all sorts of other videos. So let's get started. So the first package I'm going to grab is this one. And I think they double mailed me with books. So the book that I got, it's part of a series. This is Tamian Sir Affine by Gigi Sticks. Oh, it has black pages just like the uh, the other books that I read. So like black pages like this. So this is, I believe, I don't know if this is, I think this is book one or book two. And then I'm guessing that they gave me the same one because they charged me twice. Like I said in my last video last night, they charged me twice for two different orders. So I got double the books. Yep. So I have two of these and I don't really need both of them. So maybe I'll put some books in a giveaway for you guys. And let's get started in opening this box. Okay, so we have the second, the uh, sec, the first or second book to the series. I believe that's the first one. This is the first one is Snaring Emberly. So by the same author. And it has the black pages as well, too. So I have that. And then I have... All three of the Dare series by Chantelle Tessier. And this is apparently a really good series. She's working on doing the fourth one or like the fourth one to this, but she's also got tied up with uh, the Lord series and doing like the new book called Madness for the Lord series, which is the series that I'm on. I just finished book three about a week ago and then I finished book four last night and it was like about a 200 page novel and it was called Sabotage. Really good. Now I'm on Carnage and I started the prologue last night and then I'm just like I'm going to bed because it was like about 4 30 in the morning. I'm just like yeah I have to go to bed. So this is book one of called I Dare You. And then this is called uh Oh, it's kind of ripped. Uh, book two called I Promise You, which is about a 200, almost like a 160 something page novel. And then this is book three called If You Dare. And then I got another series that um, I actually found out by somebody else. And... I was just like randomly like looking. Uh, this is by Kitty King, her series. Um, this is the special edition. This is called Red Knight. This is book one. And basically where, um, her, it's basically off of where, uh, it's a dark romance and I've been reading it so far. Her and her boyfriend James were together for about like, I believe like two or three or more years. And he's like getting in he's like going into his he's expressing his sexuality and he doesn't know if he's bi or full-on gay or anything so like he's had sexual experiences with other men and he likes it and he also likes her so they go to a thing called um the red night event and basically like uh something happens where he gets more involved with another guy and there's this guy called Xavier where he basically he screws her and she come like she like uh 
has a orgasm or whatever and like more than what he ever her boyfriend gave her and she doesn't know about this Xavier guy because she's just like you know I, I have a boyfriend or whatever and then she catches her boyfriend doing stuff that wasn't a part of the plan of them going to the place and so she basically uh she catches him in the act of it and he doesn't answer his phone and that and all the shit and it was just bad he comes back trying to apologize and then they end up being like she's just like I think we need to take a break or whatever like I think we need to break up and everything because it was too much for her to handle and this is a dark romance again and the next two books are dark romances as well and they're by her as well and it is actually a pretty good book so far I'm on like chapter I don't know probably like chapter five or whatever and there's been a lot that happens and then we have book two called blue film of this is called the color series and it follows two different characters named L and Levi and then this is book three of the co color series. This is called White Hole. <coughs> and it follows Kinsley and George. <laughs> George. And these look like they're pretty good books. But, yeah. Uh, this book has, they all have the black pages except for this one. I don't know why this doesn't have the black pages. Probably because it's a special edition. Might have to get the regular one. But these are all the books that I got. I don't know why Amazon charged me twice uh, for, like, different types of books. Like, I got Amazon Prime, and I get that, but, like, it was just like, what the hell? Why did you charge me, overcharge me twice? But I am getting the money back, so I don't know if I'll have to send the books back or anything. But, yeah, that's everything that I got today. So if you want to see more videos like this, if you read, comment down below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. I have been active a little bit on Twitter, like just reposting stuff. Avril Lavigne had a concert last night. Her first show was in Vancouver for the Greatest Hits Tour. She was on tour with uh, the Ryle Surfins or something like that. I can't pronounce the name. And she was also on tour with All Time Low. And personally for me, I think the tour was all kind of like screwed up or whatever. I'm not trying to put any hate towards Avril Lavigne. But when you're doing a tour, be more mindful when you're doing a tour of who's actually going to be opening up. She put her thing and she only put little dots and you can't hardly see them near like the dates or whatever of what date Simple Plan and Girlfriends is going to be at. And they're all going on tour, but Simple Plan won't be on tour with All Time Low or anything. So it's just kind of like, it's just like a waste of time. You should just put like, oh, simple, uh, you should have did like a different uh, tour poster where it shows what dates, sim like with her with Simple Plan, what dates Simple Plan and Girlfriends is going to be at other than like putting it all mashed up together where people think that they're all going to be op they're all going to be opening up for Avril Lavigne. It's just kind of a mess or whatever. I know there was somebody commenting the whole reason why they're seeing Avril Lavigne in Vancouver is to see Simple Plan, but Simple Plan did not open up for Avril Lavigne in Vancouver. They're opening up, I know, uh in they're opening up, I believe, in their first show in Ottawa, which is in, like, um, June or July or something like that. So, she's on tour right now. I don't know, like, what her next uh, tour date is. But it's just, like, when you're going on tour, please be mindful of, like, making sure that everybody knows Instead of putting like little dots or whatever, maybe make a different post like, oh, these are the dates that Simple Plan and Girlfriends is going to be. Or like, this is the date that like a different band is going to be opening up for me. It's just, it, it's just confusing for your fans. But I am going to her greatest hits show in August on August 16th of this year. It is in Toronto at the Budweiser stage. So that's going to be fun. There's also going to be, I'm meeting Simple Plan, so hopefully I'm going to do a vlog, and hopefully I'll get them in my vlog saying hi or whatever. 
They're very social, so that's pretty fun. But I'm going to be meeting them, seeing Avril Lavigne in concert and that. I'm, I already know, like, somebody took photos of the merch table. And I already know what Avril Lavigne's merch looks like for the Greatest Hits tour. So I'm kind of budgeting how much I'm going to bring and spend on each artist. Obviously, I'm going to um, spend a lot on Avril and Simple Plan. Probably about, like, I don't know. $400 each or something like that. I, I, I'm not too sure, but I know merch is expensive. There is a hoodie that I really want from Avril's show. There's two t-shirts. There's a tote bag I want. And then there's a few other things. She actually has wrist band bracelets, like the rubber bracelets. And I'm just like, oh my God, I need like four of those or whatever. And they're five bucks. And she also has guitar picks or whatever. She has like this jersey short sleeve jersey and it says Avril Lavigne the greatest hits to her on the back with a skull and her hoodie is ten dollars more than what she charged at her show in London and Windsor and all that in 2022 instead of a hundred dollars it's a hundred and ten which isn't too bad it's a zip up and then her like short sleeve uh jersey t-shirt kind of is uh, $130, then her t-shirts are $50 each, which is not that bad. Her tank tops are like $70, and I'm like, why? I'm like, you can easily get a tank top at like, I don't know, you can easily get a tank top and custom make it or something, but I believe we're probably gonna get custom made t-shirts or something for my concert, get it on like a white t-shirt and get it signed or whatever, just make the t-shirts from a place in the mall that I'm at but thank you so much for watching remember to like comment subscribe and all that sorry about the ranting it's just it kind of pissed me off or whatever a little bit because Avril's just like oh we're doing this or whatever but at the same time it's just like okay we'll make it more like efficient if that makes any sense but yeah thank you so much for watching this was my book haul I got one two three four five six I got nine books. I was only supposed to get eight, but I got nine. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification bell, and all that jazz. And remember to follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and stay positive. And maybe go outside for a walk. It is beautiful outside where I live. So I'm going to go for a walk. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and stay positive. Bye, everyone.